Hey guys, Hamster here with a look at the SIG P239. Um, anyone thinking about using this as a concealed weapon, concealed carry weapon, I just wanted to let you take a look at it and if you haven't bought one yet, just give you a little idea what you're looking at. What we have here, the SIG P239, this one is in 9mm. Very similar to the SIG P220 and 226 and which a lot of you guys know I love the 226 that's my favorite uh, pistol has the same uh, slide release decocking lever mag release takedown this one has the same uh, three dot night sights this is a beautiful <laughs> I want to say little but uh, I, I won't call it little I'll call it a little smaller they consider it a compact, but for a compact, it's kind of on the big side. It's definitely not in the subcompact range. Um, comparing it to its uh, bigger brother, that I would call it, the SIG 226, um, it does look a little smaller. It is a little shorter, and it is a little narrower. Weight-wise, it's not a whole lot less in weight. It's about four and a half ounces less than a 226 and nine millimeter. And believe it or not, compared to a, a P220 and 45 ACP, this is only one ounce lighter than a P220. Being an all metal gun, the, the SIGs are, you got the stainless slides, the aluminum you know, frame, they're a heavy gun and you know, dropping down to the 239 is not going to save you a lot in weight. So if weight is a primary concern of yours, then this is probably going to be not something you're going to want to carry. But if you're in love with the SIGs, um, this is something will give you the same quality as the 226, same exact muscle memory, the same slide release, same decocking lever, same mag, same sights, same takedown in a slightly smaller package. And when we say smaller, I mean slightly smaller. It's not a whole lot, but it's enough to where I think you can carry this weapon. If you have a good holster system, you could carry this and carry it comfortably. I really like this 239. And what we have, it's about, it's about an inch shorter in length. It's about a half inch less in height. And it's almost 3 eighths of an inch and width and the width and the height are what really make it a lot more carryable the other thing um, when it's loaded the loaded weight is a lot less and uh, carrying a spare magazine let's take a look at these magazines this is the 239 9 millimeter magazine carries eight rounds very very small very very thin it's a single stack on the 226 the standard 15 round magazine double stack it's going to be a lot harder to carry a spare magazine but with the 226 you may not even need to carry a spare magazine because you'd be carrying it effectively with 16 rounds you know one in the chamber 15 in the magazine where here you're going to have eight rounds and one in the chamber going to have nine rounds so but to carry a spare magazine this would be much easier to do than carrying a spare mag for the 226 and the weight of the gun loaded obviously will be a lot less. Um, to make the 22, the 239 any smaller, um, I don't think it would function very well. It's already about as small as you can get it and still have enough room for your hands and not be, have your, like I know a lot of guys will have issues with their thumb on the slide release and then they won't get the last shot hold open because their thumb will be here and when the, you run out of ammo, it just drops right back down. And to, so to have it any physically smaller, for me, I don't think it would be effective. I don't think I could hold and manipulate the gun and fire the gun as well if it's too small. For me, if a gun gets too little, I, I'm just not as good with it. I can only you know go down to my hand size. If I get too small a gun, it just, it's much more difficult for me. So for me, this is a good choice in size and weight. 
Uh, I would love to carry this, but this is just too, 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 it's just too much to try to conceal. This is definitely doable, but like I said, this is only an ounce less than a 220, about four and a half, four and a half ounces less than the 226. Extremely well made though. Um, very accurate. Um, it's available with the night sights or the high contrast. The guys that carry the 220s love the 45. This is available in the 40 SMW. Great round. Also available in the 9mm, which which I'm a big fan of. Um, it does come standard with 8 round magazines, like I said. SIG does make a 10 round magazine for this. And you're thinking, oh, that would be awesome. Well, it's it's nice to get a look at it. It kind of defeats a lot of the purposes. When you get the 10 round magazine, the base plate on it is almost an inch bigger than the base plate on here. So anything that you gained in, in, in a shorter size, you will lose with the 10 round magazine, which will make this much more difficult to conceal when you add an extra uh, half inch to inch in height. You're gonna be almost back up to the full size 226. But uh, as far as function, it, it, this gun has proved to be extremely reliable. No failures to feed, no failures to eject. Um, I have had no issues. Accuracy is very good. Um, it did take some getting used to of the narrower grip. Um, it did change my grip and it did change my position, my finger on the trigger. It did take a little bit of practice even though the muscle memory was all exactly the same because of the function, but being the smaller grip, even though it's only slightly smaller, it did change quite a bit. But this is a, uh, a great gun. It's not, ex not cheap though. This thing is in the $800 range. So cost is a factor and physical size is a factor. Um, if weight is definitely an issue with you and your carry system, then this is not something you're going to want to look at. You're going to want to look at a polymer gun. And some people might say, well, why don't you, you know, have a polymer gun? Well, I'm not opposed to polymer. Um, I mean, look, I, my grips are polymer, so I don't, I don't hate polymer on everything. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm kind of a fan of all, all metal guns. I really like all metal guns. So therefore, I, uh, I tolerate the weight. But everybody's tolerance to weight is different. But a fantastic um, small gun, not compact, but a great smaller firearm, possible uh, concealed carry choice, but all around uh, super high quality firearm. Thanks for watching.